But having a light box allows you to take your glass and turn it and get it exactly, you know, what you think eventually that this window is going to look like. And we're going to, we're going to take another one of these glasses. Y'all, this is the, you can probably see this now if I put a little bit of light behind it and kind of tilt it up at an angle. This is that Armstrong glass. And you know, this, um, it almost looks like it has a, a cat paw pattern on it. Except the cat is kind of stepping lightly. <laughs> I don't know. But this green, we're using a little bit of it. And the, the funny thing about this is that you're going to cut this on the smooth side, but that smooth side also is the side that has the raised dimples on it. You can cut it on this side, and that's fine, but you'll find that when you your cutter goes into the pattern that this was rolled on, that it's going to want to move sideways. So we're going to cut a couple of pieces of this, just this really pretty green, and it's going to go right here. So what we're doing now is I'm, I'm keeping up. The only thing I hope to have to cut here just a little bit will be this right here, which is our Spanish moss that hangs down from the oak tree. And that'll be the last piece that goes in, you know, in this particular window of the Spanish moss that's within the project. This is, this is that, this is a pretty, out of the light, it's a nice yellow and on the back, it's a really brilliant dark foresty green. Today, we're finishing up window number 12 with the cutting process. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you would, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and this helps you learn a little bit, please subscribe because we have a lot more coming up. And you know what? Every Monday night at seven o'clock, it's live Q&A with Barb and Ed here at Conway Glass in our studios live. And this glass, y'all, is just so pretty. And I say 81, but I've already cut number 149, 148, and number one and number two. So I'm all over the place. But I want you to keep in mind that I'm using different textures and different colors of glass. And I'm spreading them out throughout the window. You know, there's some glasses here. And I'm going to grab this glass right here because I want you to see it. It's beautiful. And I've shown it to you that's in some other videos when we come in and we when we came back. I've shown this glass to you when we showed you all the glass that was going in the Live Oak Project. But this glass right here, I believe you can see it. And I, I believe that, you know, this is this is one of those textures that we want to see. Okay? This is the backside. Remember these glasses? They had the little red, orangish dots in them that are like a burnt umber with amber and brilliant greens in it. But we're gonna do a couple of pieces of glass. Out of this, this is one of our strips, out of this glass for this section of the window. So I'm keeping my colors, I'm keeping my colors right here at my fingertips because now I'm working with four different greens, okay? windows so remember this is the smooth side this is the textured side and we want the texture side to be up when we're putting the window together so we're gonna set this glass right over here okay here we go so you know this piece of glass is gonna look really good right here up near the top near the finished window itself so we're taking our manila folder and our sharpie. Now our sharpie. This is this is our big, you know, this is our big uh, chisel tip sharpie. And that really pretty glass that I just showed you is going to go right here in this piece, up near the top. Okay, so the line on this. This is number one thirty one, by the way. The line on this. Okay. The line on this, the inside of that black line, is the pattern itself. So we're, we're going to take a quick second, 
we're going to cut out this pattern with our scissors and we're going to stay right on the inside of that inside line we don't want to see it but we don't want to we don't want to see it when we cut it away either okay so make sure you stay on the inside of that black line take your time because this will mean whether your glass is going to fit or not and you really 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 will make it work if you do if you take your time and you know it's really working on the light box to me is is just a uh, it gives I think it gives me an advantage because you might not always be able to see through the glass but you can see through it enough to turn it if that makes sense I think it will to most of you so remember this is our piece of glass and because we're up near the top and I have a piece of another piece of this actually okay going over here on number 136 so this is going to work out really well and then there's a couple more different greens but this is but now you remember we talked about this is my pattern this is the upside of my pattern the numbered side is my upside but I want this texture to be up so I want to take if I put my pattern on like that and cut it the texture is going to be down so I want to take and I want to flip my pattern over guys flip it over and now we're going to trace it onto our glass we're tracing our pattern onto our glass okay so and this is going to be number 131 I never cross them off until they're in my hand <laughs> that's like counting your chickens before they're hatched okay so this is y'all remember this is really a heavy textured glass and we're going to break it now just because your glass is heavily textured doesn't mean okay it doesn't mean you have to push harder on your glass cutter because you don't these glasses are annealed very very well and this is just such a beautiful glass so we're just going to cut the glass just like we're cutting the glass yeah, boom. and I want you to see that that curve was just completed on a piece of textured glass that in some places <clears throat> is over a quarter of an inch thick so right here on this piece we have an inside curve here but we have a lot of glass here so if we tried to break this like this more than likely it's going to come over here okay so we want to eliminate that problem because we want you know we, this is the piece of glass that we want so we're going to score this now you saw where the line was we're going to score this okay now we've gotten rid of this and what we have left is this little tiny arch and think about it the chances of us getting that out are really good because there's nothing there to take out so we're gonna reach in we're not going to the edge we're gonna reach in right in the middle don't go over the line stay just behind it pull down okay down and away now on this textured glass you know there's gonna be some little critters sticking off the bottom edge take your grouse and pliers because man they will they will ruin your day they will absolutely ruin your day So as you can see, I I do not always when I'm cutting patterns always go to the edge of the glass. I like to go in just a little bit, pull down. I feel I have greater control 
over the breaking of the glass by doing it like that. Because you know, if you're too close to the edge and you're squeezing down, you're pulling away, you could break off the piece that you, you know, that you actually need. Think about that. And I'm not pushing hard at all. You can hear it, you can't hear it. Doesn't bother me. Just keep moving with the glass cutter, everybody. Keep it rolling forward. Grab it in the middle, just like that. Boom, okay? That is a, just a beautiful cut. So, you know, don't be afraid of when you pick up a piece of glass and go, ooh, man, that is textured. Not all of them, not all textured glasses are annealed correctly, okay? Some of them are, but the ones that aren't, you'll have a little bit of trouble with, but try just letting up on the pressure of your glass cutter and allowing it to roll across the glass. Number 131 is done, and we turned our pattern upside down, so what we get out of all this is this. We get the texture up on piece number 131 and now that we're done with that it gets the big black X and we're gonna move on to another piece of glass out near the outside edge of the tree we've used this color on the leaves that are drawn in the pattern that are definite so that that they look like a leaf is what I mean so but you can see how this kind of graduates from dark to light and that's how we're doing the window with the leaf pattern. So these leaves here, got about six or eight here, a couple, five or six there, and six or eight there. And then, you know, we're, we're basically almost finished cutting this window out. So if you have any questions about, you know, working with your light box, your light box is really, really a good friend. <laughs> to have in the studio. And you know, you can use a light box whether you're doing copper foil or not. You don't have to cut your glass on your light box. The light box was designed to be able to rotate, to put the glass on there and make a painting using what you had for glass and be able to turn the glass to make it do what you want it to do. So, you know, last night we were talking about on the live stream. On the live stream Monday night, we were talking about different glasses, different manufacturers. The manufacturer's number is the letter before everything in the front, okay? This is a Kokomo glass. The color number is 48. It's a granite. cat's paw texture. So that's a double whammy on the texture, y'all. This has a cat's paw and also a granite texture. So hey, if, if learning how to cut, if you're just learning how to cut glass and some of these tips that I'm doing here, again, you don't have to have a light box. The light to cut glass on, you need a light box to show you what your glass is going to do when the light dances on it. Just like that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see now remember this is the top of the tree out near the edge of the atmosphere. So this this is going to you know light and dark greens is what we're going to have in here. We're going to be using this these colors here, everybody, they're going in different areas. The, the one thing that we have to make sure of with this cat's paw green is that some of it is on each side because they come up from the other windows like this, okay? This cat's paw glass is so gorgeous. So we're, what we're going to do, <laughs> doesn't even sound like I cut it, does it? We're going to take, we're going to take a strip of it. Okay, we're gonna take a strip of it and we're gonna set this color over here because again, until we're finished, until we're finished cutting these glasses, we're gonna be using these four colors 
to make to fill in with everything else. I'm done with the yellow. I've got a few leaves to cut, but the background is what we're working on now. And we're bringing it into check to make sure that they all blend together and make one big happy family. So this cat's ball glass is another, it's another textured glass. And you know, it's not a, it's not a glass that you would, it's not a glass that you would use all the time. But it is a glass that if you needed that particular, you can hear it cutting. If you needed that particular glass, okay, look, it sounds like junk when you're rolling across it with your glass cutter, but don't give up and don't. Don't be afraid to cut it because it sounds like you're going, like you're riding around on the moon without a moon rover, okay? So just make sure you have your pliers, your grousing pliers. Make sure you're using them to their fullest extent. And yes, it's okay to do all your scores first and then break the glass. It's okay, you can do that. Hey, if you can do it, do it. So we're using all these different colors, you know, and I'm, I don't, I just want to make sure that everything is really looking good here and these colors are falling in line exactly the the place that I want them. So anyway, we're going to cut another pattern. We're going to take the scissors and these, no, these are not pattern scissors. We are going to take, these are just regular scissors, but we're using a manila folder. And you know what that does is it makes our pattern really stiff and allows us to trace that black line all the way around it without a whole bunch of, you know, without more of the marker getting without more of the marker getting on your fingers than it does on the pattern or on the glass. So we don't want any of that stuff. So this is number 140 everybody. And we're here at the light box at Conway Glass in the stained glass studio, finishing up the oak tree project, showing you how we distribute the glass into each individual window. You guys really are so kind to Barbara and I. I mean, some of the some of the comments that I've read and, and some of them that while we're driving, Barbara will read them to me. I, you guys are way, way too kind. And thank you so much. Makes us smile. We were smiling today just from a couple comments that somebody made about the RDRV channel and Barbara Ned. So thanks again, y'all. It's greatly appreciated. Hey, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. And when you check in, you need to if you're if you're at the QA on Monday night at 7 o'clock, go ahead and check in. Because you can't ask us a question unless you're there on the screen. And we'd love to answer a question for you, so don't be shy. Check in to the RDRV channel live QA on Monday nights at 7 p.m. So we just finished up number 140, everybody, and that's awesome. So now we're going to, you know, I, you see my pile over here is getting bigger and my X's over here are getting more and more available. So that's what we want. We want the X's out of here so that we can get all of this. Now we got this bird that's going to go right here and I'm, I've got this uh, color that I need to put underneath of him. And, and I'm not sure if I want to do brown underneath of him or if I want to do a really a dark green. And because uh, I don't, what I want more than anything is for the bird to stand out. So I'm going to check with Barb on this and see if we want to do, see if we want to do a dark color on the piece of glass that's going to be underneath of the Carolina Wren. Don't forget, Monday night, thumbs up, please subscribe. Make it all one big circle. Come back and see us. This is Ed in the glass studio at Conway Glass working on the Oak Tree Project.